So today's message about positivity is that it's all a matter of point of view. Hi guys, it's me. And as you maybe know, this month I'm doing the positive November month. If you want to watch my first video and follow along every week, I will give you a little message and a task to do for the week. And that's how I want to spread about more positivity, especially for the people who struggle with it. And I hope you guys will learn or can take something from this experience. If you don't do one day or two, it's fine, or a week or a month, whatever. <laughs> like, at least you're trying. So today's message about positivity is that it's all a matter of point of view. It's the way you look at a situation and it's um, your choice to see the positive or the negative. There's always two sides to something. A lot of the times you see an issue and you see the negative. But after you went through that negativity, you see the positive outcome. Like you see where it got you, which I find really amazing. And you're so thankful that you had that experience because you learned so much and it got you where you are right now. Maybe you're like, why am I still stuck in this negativity though? I'm still stuck in this issue. Maybe you're still not ready to fully get through it. Maybe you still have so much to learn, but you will be so happy once you have learned everything you needed to, and you will have learned so much, and you will be so strong. Yes, yeah, pretty awesome. But yeah, to see the negative and the positive, it's practice. I will take a section of my life as an example here. So my year in London, when I was in London, I was accepted at one of the best colleges in the country. I was studying what I love. I was able to dance and sing every single day. I was fortunate to move into a new country, to start a new life, meet new people, be surrounded by new surroundings, experiencing life. That sounds pretty amazing, right? Like I was able to live my life. I was able to do what I love every single day in London. Let me look back into my life and think about all the negative things that actually happened as well. I was under a lot of stress. London is super expensive, if you have noticed. Rent is insane. Mine was like the cheapest that I could get and I was so fortunate or else I could have gone there, I think. And the college was super expensive. It was insane as well. You can be at the best colleges but still feel horrible and still feel like hell. Just because you're at Harvard or something doesn't really mean that you're happy and you think you're awesome. Like, no. <laughs> like, and apparently it's harder to get into dance colleges than Oxford or Cambridge. I was struggling financially so much that um, there were times where I was just eating pasta and soup for weeks. I lived in a really tiny room. Like, it's, it wasn't even funny. Like, living in this huge apartment is such a blessing right now. But there I was just sharing a room in a house with people I didn't know. Had to share the bathroom with them. My room was basically a shoebox. I stayed in that room a lot because it was still dealing with depression and everything. I can be socially quite awkward, especially if I'm not confident. So adapting to a new culture, making friends, that was really hard for me. I came from a different country and at Lane, there are not as many international students. So I didn't have very many friends. It was really hard to open up to anyone. And the pressure at Lane's was insane as well. I have never had a jazz class or a contemporary class or a commercial or a singing class in my life. And I was just thrown into that. It was so hard to adapt and not feel horrible comparing myself with all the amazing people around me. I was trying really hard not to feel like hell, but I felt like hell so many times. I was always in the back. I was always a bit shy. <laughs> I was so new at all this professional dance environment. I felt so out of place. And then I had to leave because I couldn't afford it anymore. Couldn't even finish the year. I, I don't have anything uh, from Lane really. <laughs> so there you have the exact same story with two different point of views, but you could see it either way. Basically now I see the positive of it. I'm so thankful for that year. If Lane wouldn't have accepted me, I would not be here right now. I would still be in a basement in Germany and like sad and cry. <laughs> and I needed that hard time to also see my blessings now, you know? You always have a choice. While I was going through that, obviously I didn't see it that negatively. It was hard, but you also kind of force yourself. You can't think about the hardness. You think about the good 
what, what you're doing. You have a choice in seeing it this way or that way. So I want to encourage you this week, my, that's my task, to every day see something negative <laughs> in your day. What happened today that was horrible or it rained, for example, or your body was in so much pain because you did a workout and you couldn't sleep. Think about something negative like that. And then write down, take this exact situation and see the positive in it. Okay, it rained. Then the positive is, wait, it rained. That means we have water, we're not in a drought. We don't have to starve and we, we have enough food and we have enough water and nutrients to survive. Or just see the beauty in rain. Rain looks beautiful. Or then the workout one, you can be so happy that you have a healthy body, that you can do a workout, that your body is healthy and it does hurt when you work it out and that you have the stamina to work out and the mental strength as well. So this task will be quite interesting, I guess. Um, I'm looking forward to it because I'm doing this as well. This is not just you. I'm with you on this journey, okay? So on Saturday, obviously you can reflect on what happened, but I want you guys to think about something, something negative that happened in your life, actually. A hard time you had to go through. Take that. That will be quite hard. Like if it will probably bring up some negative emotions, some unresolved emotions probably as well. But think about something that you learned from it, something positive that came out of the situation. Are you stronger mentally now? Did it get you here where you are now? Did it get you closer to a certain friend? Did you talk about it? Yeah, what was positive about the situation in the end? Maybe the situation itself was horrible, but really try to see something positive that came out of it. I'm so excited to hear about all your stories. Please let me know how this is working out for you. And I'm so happy you're on this journey with me. Um, yeah, join me next week as I tell you the next task for the next week. I enjoy these videos. They're, they're quite fun, right? Are you learning something? I hope you are. Okay, see you next time. Bye.